What is up guys and well welcome back to the vlog. Guys I got something to talk to you about but first, first let's roll some clips of some baby goats because uh, the bottle babies are in the barn because to be honest with you guys it was just time. You can only do so much in the house with bottle babies around and um, they're supposed to go to eating twice a day now so if any of you guys have ever tried to push bottle babies back on the time of their eating, yeah, it wasn't gonna happen like, uh, it wasn't gonna happen in the house uh, at all because the thing is, is they lose their mind when they don't eat on time. So uh, yeah guys, let's roll some clips of those baby goats right here. So guys, what I want to talk to you about is, um, well, as you've seen in the title, exactly what it was that I wanted to talk to you about is that, uh, guys, I had COVID. Um, that's why there was no vlog last week. Um, I'm going to kind of actually take you guys through what it was like to have COVID because some people are just writing it off. And, uh, and from this whole time, I've never really written it off. Um, I haven't lived in fear from it, but I haven't written it off. I knew when I got it, it was going to suck. Um, and being an EMS, I knew it was inevitable, guys, that I was going to get it um, eventually. You know, it just, it, it's kind of inevitable. When you're around sick people, you're going to get sick, you know. Um, and that's just something that happens. Um, it happens to the best of us, guys. So, uh, yeah, so I was actually at work when I got it. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night with a uh, 101 degree fever, uh, 101.4 to be precise, and uh, got sent home. That's, that's pretty obvious. Um, if you're sick, you're going to go home. So uh, I went home. Um, luckily, I hadn't been around um, mom or dad within the period of time that I could uh, um, could have infected them, so they didn't have to worry too much. Um, but Danny and I had to quarantine. Um, and it was horrible, guys. I'll be 100% honest with you. It, it was not fun. Um, I was in bed for five to six days. Um, by in bed, I mean I literally went up, got went to the bathroom, and went right back to bed. That was that was the extent of my life for five or six days. Um, I pushed fluids, obviously, but no real appetite. Um, I did lose my sense of taste and smell, and that, that's kind of weird because it's starting to come back, but I'm still uh, still not really smelling too much. Like when I go load the wood stove, I don't really smell the smoke in there. So, uh, but yeah, guys, that's uh, that's that's pretty much how it was, and now it's just the the uh, the uphill battle to get back to where I was before ever catching it. So um, I will say it's you know, I did lose. 13 pounds in the first day, which is not good, but I lost some weight, but, uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's no joke, so don't, please don't take it like a joke, um, and like I said, I haven't since day one, I just will not live in fear of a disease, you know, that's, that's something nobody should have to do, is live in fear of a disease, so, uh, it's gonna happen, guys, it sucks, it's not fun, um, but it, it is it is what it is. Um, and like I said, I knew it was inevitable being an EMS. I was going to get it eventually. So I'm just happy 
and grateful that I didn't have any of the respiratory problems that go along with it. Um, I've had some friends that have gotten COVID and had, um, had pneumonia afterwards and things like that. So I'm very grateful and very um, happy to be able to say that I didn't have to deal with the respiratory issues. So just the extreme fatigue. And when I say extreme, guys, I mean extreme fatigue. Um, the fever, I had the fever for four days, I think. I think I broke it till day number four. Um, and that was with, you know, a lot of Tylenol every day, finally breaking it. So, um, but yeah, guys, I, I will say that I'm grateful that I didn't have it worse than it could have been. So it sucked, but it could have been a lot worse. So, but yeah, guys, that's, that's where I've been the past week, um, recovering from that. I actually, by the time you're seeing this, I'm off quarantine, um, and I'm actually back at work. So, um, which is great because, uh, let me tell you, this whole quarantine thing is no fun at all. So, uh, luckily I have to shop. And once I got my strength back, I uh, came out into the shop and was able to do things. I actually uh, have the Civic taken apart behind you guys over there. Uh, it has a, uh, a broken brake line that I'm working on fixing. So uh, next week I'm going to be building some brake lines. So uh, yeah guys, so that's, uh, that's where I've been the past week or so. Um, I do have a couple things to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed the goats. Um, and they're doing great. They're out in the barn doing great. Um, next week we got something real big that we're getting um, that I think you guys will enjoy seeing. We'll bring you along with us on that. And uh, you guys notice I've had an egg carton here sitting in front of me the whole time. And uh, well, it's our new design guys. They had to uh, redo the design for our carton because we used to have the little windows in here and they, uh, they don't produce those anymore, the place we get them from. So. This is our, uh, our newly designed carton, guys. Those of you that get our store eggs have seen where we have a sticker on the end. This is our dealer in large, our dealer number in large. We no longer need that, guys. We uh, have our dealer number on here and uh, grade A large. So uh, same good eggs, just a different carton coming your way, guys. Um, so if you're in stores and you pick them up, well, this is what they look like now. So don't be alarmed if you don't see the old carton. And uh, guys that I deliver to you, um, don't be surprised by the new carton. Uh, I don't think any of you will be. But uh, yeah, guys, that's our uh, that's our new carton. Those of you that follow the Facebook page have seen it because I already put the post up. So, uh, but yeah, guys, we're excited to uh, be able to bring new things like this to the uh, table. Um, next time, might might change the design a little bit. I don't know when we order more, but uh, I kind of like it. So. Uh, Definitely different though, not having the windows. The windows were kind of neat, but I think it'll work just good. So uh, yeah guys, that's about it. Uh, like I said, no uh, crazy vlogs this week because I've been, uh, well, I've been sick. So uh, like I said guys, don't live in fear of it. Um, just know that if you get it, it's gonna suck. There's no way around it. I know some people get it and don't have very many problems at all, but don't. For those of you that get it and don't have very many problems, don't talk like it's nothing. Don't tell everybody else they're going to be just fine, guys. Everybody fights off diseases in different ways. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure I haven't had a fever like that since I've been a little kid. So, uh, and I get the flu every year, and I don't think I've had a fever like that since I was a little kid. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you uh, like this vlog, uh, drop a like down below. And I know most of you that watch the vlogs are not subscribed, so... Uh, if you can, subscribe and uh, press that little bell notification and it'll tell you every time we get a new video uploaded. So, uh, yeah guys, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at Humberts Goats and Yolks. And guys, we'll bring you something more exciting when we see you next week.